Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Do you like being spied on? Just real condom, you know, common question. Do you like your freedoms? Do you like being spied on? Ladies and gentlemen, not everybody is being spied on, but a lot of people I'm certain are being spied on by Pegasus. Not the the horse with wings, you know, the, the Greek folklore, but a spy program from Israel that the FBI, among many others, are using. But first, a word from our sponsor. Brought to you by Noble Gold. Noble Gold is who I trust to protect my retirement, and you should too. Silver demands will exceed supply again this year. 32,000 tons of silver will be produced against 34 tons of demand. Mining.com, an online news site covering the global mining and metals industry, sourced the data. This proves what Noble Gold Investments has long warned the U.S. market about. Transitioning into renewable energies will put pressure on silver production. Silver is used in solar cells, industrial fabrication, and automotive industry. There will be future increase in demand in the field of nanotechnology, the food industry, and printed and flexible electronics. Demand will increase by 54% by 2030. There is no better time to invest with Noble Gold than now. Noble Gold Investments will walk you through the entire process and it will take you no longer than five minutes to open up a gold or silver IRA. And this month, you'll get an incredible free three ounce silver American virtue coin with a qualified IRA of 20000 or higher. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold Investments. Call the team now at 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. So, ladies and gentlemen, Pegasus is a real deal, Holyfield. If you haven't heard about it, let me be the first to tell you. And uh, if you have heard about it, stick around. I'm going to probably, maybe, hopefully, tell you some information that hasn't been discussed yet. So, I'm going to be reading from my phone here. Pegasus is a spyware developed by Israel. Uh, cyber arms company NSO Group that can be covertly installed on mobile phones and other devices running most versions of iOS and Android so Pegasus is a spy program that well I don't know let's just say FBI sends you an email or a text message to your phone you literally do not even have to click on it or anything you don't have to open it don't have to respond nothing it's there i don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist but with everything that's gone on with this channel and kind of weird you know messages and and stuff like that that i've had sent to my phone who knows, maybe it's on my phone, so yippee-yo. But anyways, let me continue to tell you about it. So, uh, yeah, I, iOS and Android. Pegasus is uh, available in explicit iOS versions up to 14.7 through zero-click exploit. As of 2022, Pegasus was capable of reading text messages, tracking calls, uh, collecting passwords, location tracking, accessing the target's uh, device, microphone, and camera, and harvesting information from apps. The spyware is named after Pegasus, the winged horse uh, of Greek mythology. It is a Trojan horse computer virus that can be sent flying through the air to infect cell phones. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, Recently, uh, maybe a month, two months, whatever it was, it came out that the FBI has indeed been using uh, Pegasus. And when I say using, in their words, they say that they bought into it and they wanted to see how it worked and so forth and so on and, you know, whatever. They won't, you know, confirm or deny that they're using Pegasus on 
we the American population among many other people throughout the world and when I say many other people I am not kidding so uh, the spyware has been used for surveillance and an, uh, of anti-regime activists journalists and political leaders from several nations around the world in July of 2021 the investigation uh, initiative uh, Pegasus Project, along with the in-depth analysis by human rights group uh, Amnesty International, reported that Pegasus was still being widely used against high-profile targets. Huh. So, what countries have used Pegasus? It is a long list. Um, Armenia. About 20 uh, Armenian citizens were spied on via Pegasus spyware. Uh, let's go to Azerbaijan, however you pronounce that. A list of spied upon citizens includes do uh, dozens of journalists, journalists and act uh, activists from uh, that country. Uh, by Iran. Citizens uh, Lab revealed the government of uh, Iran used NSO groups Pegasus to hack act activists, bloggers, members of WAD, uh, Secular Bahrainian Political Society. Um, there's another one. Another one. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this one. D-J-I-B-O-U-T-I. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, in 2018, the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency purchased Pegasus for the whatever government, whatever that country is called. I, I couldn't even, whatever. Government to conduct counterterrorism operations. Always. It's always counterterrorism, right? Always counterterrorism. Egypt. El Salvador, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Hungary, India, Iraq, the phone of Iraq President Baram Salah, whatever, was found on the list of potential Pegasus surveillance targets, however, actual targeting attempts or uh, or successful could not be determined so that's just a you know cover your ass kind of situation there israel israeli and police used uh in january of 22 it was reported that pegasus was unlawfully used by the israeli police to monitor citizens as well as foreign nationals who were accidentally or intentionally infected by the software. Accidentally or, in <laughs> or intentionally. Oh, man. Let's go with the accidentally, right? Like, nothing really is ever happens for a reason, right? Good luck with that. Uh... Oh, well, let's see. Jordan. Jordan's another country. Kazakhstan. That's another one. Mexico. This one here is interesting. I'm going to read a little bit from it here. Uh, Mexico was the first country in uh, country to purchase this, purchase Pegasus. Early version of Pegasus was used to surveil the phone of uh, Jacqueline Guzman, known as El Chapo, in 2011. So, I mean, you know, this, this Pegasus, you know, the first version of it, who knows how many versions is it, you know, nowadays, was out all the way back in 2011. Mexican President Felipe Calderano reported called, reportedly called NSO to thank the company for its role uh, in El Chapo's capture. When the list of 50,000 phone numbers of potential Pegasus surveillance targeted selected by individual client governments was leaked in 2021, a third of them were Mexican. Targeting the uh, targeting of scientists and health campaigners. In 2017, Citizens Lab research revealed that the NSO exploit leak exploited link 
uh, links may have been sent to a Mexican scientist and public health campaigners. The target supported measures uh, to reduce childhood obesity, including Mexico's soda tax. Interesting. Uh, Let's see, mass kidnapping, assassinations of journalists. Um, so, you know, they can track it, know exactly where somebody is to be able to, you know, take them out. Targeting of uh, presidential candidates. But the most in interesting thing when it comes to Mexico, in my opinion, is the fact that the Mexican drug cartel. Pegasus has been used by drug cartels and cartel uh entering uh, government actors to target and initiate uh, I'm sorry uh, intimidate Mexican journalists uh, a window of slain renowned Mexican journalists, uh, journalists was a target of an attempted Pegasus attack 10 days before her husband's assassination so more more uh, Countries, you got Morocco, you got Netherlands, Panama, Palestine, Poland, Rwanda, Saudi Arabia. Uh, in December of 2020, it was reported that Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates deployed a zero click iMessage Pegasus uh, against two London based reporters and 36 journalists as the Al Jazeera television network in Qatar. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, where's the World Cup right now in Qatar? So, I mean, you know, who knows who's getting infected with Pegasus over there because I'm sure there's probably some pretty high profile people. Um. Jamal Khashoggi, remember uh, the journalist that you know, was allegedly murdered? I'm going to say allegedly because who really knows? Only the people that that did it know what really truly happened. You know, whatever. Uh, Pegasus was used by Saudi Arabia to spy on Jamal Khashoggi, who was later killed in Turkey in October 2018. Citizens Labs report reported on the use of NSO software to spy on the inner circle of Khashoggi just before his murder. But, you know, nobody knows anything. And apparently, uh, Pegasus was also uh, used to target Jeff Bezos. Um, target of journalist Ben Hubbard. Other targets, other Saudi exiles, Omar Abzizib in Canada was identified by McKinsey and Company as being an infidel uh, descendant, and hence had two brothers imprisoned by Saudi uh, by the Saudi authorities, and his cell phone hacked by Pegasus. Guys, there, there's so much information. Like literally, if you if you Google Pegasus spyware you can literally read all about it it's it's amazing to me how they're not technically hiding it anymore because i mean honestly they probably just don't really care at all about who knows who's spying on who because the people that are really spying on the people are the people that run you know everything and have been trying to destroy everything in the whole entire world in my opinion south africa Go figure. Spain. Uh, used against Spanish government officials. Thailand. Um, Togo. Uganda. Ukraine. Oh boy. Go figure. Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine. Ladies and gentlemen, this is brought to you by my friends at My Patriot Supply. Ladies and gentlemen, as a farmer, I can tell you things are really, really, really strange and odd on the farmer aspect of things of being able to produce food. Ladies and gentlemen, right now you can save $250 on a three month supply of food for you and your family. Breakfast, lunch, and dinners, and drinks, and so forth and so on, 2,000 calories, 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the worst thing that can happen to you is that you run out of food and you have no way of getting food. My Patriot Supply offers this service of getting emergency food supply kits to people that want to prepare. Bottom line. Because what are you going to do if there's no food at the grocery store? We've seen it when COVID happened. We've seen it when natural disasters happen. What if everything shuts down? No diesel, no trucks, no trains, no food, no service. Go to preparewithwhatifnews.com and save $250 on a three-month supply of emergency food kit for you and your family. Stored properly can last up to 25 years. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is a necessity to have food to be able to survive. So go there. Do it. Prepare with whatifnews.com and save $250. United Arab Emirates. Guys, there's so much information that is front and center, and they're not even hiding it at all. But yet, very little bit gets talked about when it comes to Pegasus. United Kingdom, United States. Go figure. You know, there's a lot of people, I'm sure. Um, what was it? The report was uh, recently like 50,000 numbers came out of Pegasus spyware being put on people's phones. I wish I could figure out how to find where that uh, where the list of 50,000 is. I'd like to know if my phone's on there to be quite honest with you. Call me a conspiracy theorist, but I mean, everything I've been through on this channel since I started What If News has been ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. Like, it's been, it's been asinine, to say the least. Oh, Yemen. Can't forget about them. Uh, internal organizations. European Union. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, who knows? I mean, seriously, if you're somebody that speaks up against... You know what what has been going on in this country uh here in the united states you know like uh, you can't talk about covid which is interesting my next video will be having to do with what happened in the uh fauci uh testimony thank you to the people that are doing that that'll be the next video but i mean ladies and gentlemen if you talk about certain things that don't agree with the way that they're trying to represent i mean who knows that could make you a target could take me you know, make me as a target i mean for somebody that you know have had videos that you know before becoming censored in, in 2021 my videos within the first four hours would get you know minimum of fifty thousand views you know not too long ago uh beginning of this year you know it came out that the that the Hunter Biden laptop, you know, was confirmed and real, you know. Uh, I had a, about a week time period where I was able to post videos and my videos would actually do really good because for whatever reason, you know, the algorithm or whatever they put on this channel to keep my video views down seemed to have disappeared because, you know, in, in a little bit over a week, less than two, but just slightly over a week, I picked up, I don't know, over 12,000 new subscribers and then guess what they gave me a strike because of what I was saying they didn't want people to hear and then my videos pff, took a dump yet again you know it's a real pain to ask man to have this thing go up and down up and down and up and down but I'm not a quitter at all I don't like doing it on this channel because of the simple fact that my father's videos are on this channel and if you know I piss them off enough who knows they might take down this channel and then all my dad's hard work for all the years and videos that he did you know would be poof gone and the only reason that I have this channel is because he started it and you know later on in life here I am doing this but ladies and gentlemen it's a real deal holy field things are going to get really crazy you know in my opinion uh you know we got the the whole train strike you know thing happening possibly you know where biden said oh i'm the savior i did this and you know adverted this and then later on it comes out that you know the train union is pretty much giving you know biden the big bird and he didn't fix shit uh, let's see, supply chain. 
trains will certainly, certainly disrupt supply chains more than they already are. Um, food shortages, sure. Why not? Anything's possible, ladies and gentlemen. They will do whatever they need to do to try to remain in power. But the problem is, is they actually lost power because they gained, the, you know, Republicans, and God forbid that, you know, people don't stand up and do the right thing, which I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the right things will be done because there are certain people in Congress that I absolutely trust. I don't trust very many people in the Senate. Uh, Rand Paul, yes. Uh, Ted Cruz, yes. Uh, uh, Holly, yes. Um, there's some others that I trust. Lindsey Graham, not a chance. That guy talks out of one ear and then tries to listen to the other ear. And, yeah, that just doesn't really work out so well for him. You know, he uh, he talks in circles. And round and round and round and round he goes. It's always the same shit from him. Lindsey Graham, uh, you know, I hope I'm wrong. I'm ho I hope that he, you know, stands up, does some right things, some good things, you know, to bring our, our country back to being great because it was for four years it was when I was growing up and it all has taken a big gigantic dump because of these people that are in power and in charge that literally probably pull the strings behind anybody that is the president and most certainly most of the Democratic Party some Republicans which you know are rhinos probably so pull some strings there but ladies and gentlemen, everything that you hear me talking about, all you gotta do is literally look it up yourself and you can find all the same information that I find. Pegasus is a real deal Holyfield situation. It could possibly be on your phone. It could possibly be on anybody else's phone that you know that might speak up publicly on the internet or Facebook or whatever that makes them a target. Anything is plausible. Anything is possible. Situations are situational. And it is what it is. Hopefully, in the end, we come out on top. Because if we're on the bottom, good luck to the whole entire world. I mean, really, seriously. Tyrants everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. And the only people that can, that can do anything about it are people that stand up and speak their mind.